This next tutorial is also brought to you by Judicon, which is the whirlwind design team of Judy Rustad and myself, Connie. And now we are going to be doing Nurse Judy. The bands I'll be using are white, brown, the pink tinged skin tone bands, teal, and a light pink for her mouth. And as always, I start with the attachments and we'll start with her arms. And we're going to be using a rainbow loom in the offset position. And we're going to be using white bands and skin tone bands for her arms. Everything will be double banded and we're going to start from the sixth peg from the bottom and we're going to put two white bands two times going down the right side followed by two skin tone bands three times going down the right side. And this we will cap with a single skin tone band wrapped three times around the peg. We're going to do the same thing on the other side starting at the sixth peg from the bottom two white bands two times going down the left side followed by two skin tone bands three times. And this also is capped with a single skin tone band wrapped three times around the peg. And now we can loop this. And we're making sure we grab both bands and that we're forming our teardrop or raindrop shape as we loop. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And again, we're forming our teardrop shape and we're making sure that we have both bands as we loop to the peg above. And now we can take this off our loom and set this aside. The next attachment that we're going to do is her legs and her feet and for that we'll be using skin tone bands and white bands as well and we're going to start from the fourth peg from the bottom on the right and we're going to put two skin tone bands two more skin tone bands and two white bands for her shoes and this we will cap with a single white band wrapped three times around the peg. We're going to do the same thing for her other leg. Two skin tone bands going down the left side twice starting at the fourth peg from the bottom followed by two white bands capped with a single white band wrapped three times around the peg. And these we will also loop. And I really feel like a broken record saying this all the time, but making sure, and I do it more for myself as well, making sure that we're forming our teardrop shape and that we're grabbing both bands as we loop forward. And these can also go on our holding hook. and we'll set these aside. And next we're going to do her nose and for that we're using skin tone bands and just our hook and we're going to take a single skin tone band and double it and wrap it three times around our hook. We're going to take another skin tone band and double it and we're going to slide all of these loops onto our double loop band. And this is our nose 
and if you've watched any of my previous videos, I attach my nose when I'm looping, so I'm going to just leave it here on my hook so that I don't forget to attach it. And next we can do her eyes, and for that we're using e-beads and white bands. And I'm going to take a single white band and double it, and tuck my floss through. And I'm calling this floss, but it's really the grass that you would line an Easter basket with, and it's the best stuff around, much better than dental floss, because it doesn't fray and it doesn't break. We're going to slide our bead down the floss, making sure we catch the end of the floss so that we can slide the bead down onto our band. Almost lost it. And we can place this on our hook. And we're going to do that again for the other eye. We're going to take a single white band and double it tuck our floss through the center and slide a bead down the floss making sure to catch the end through the hole so that the bead will slide onto the white band. And again you can use bands to make your eyes if you don't have beads or if you just prefer bands and you would just take whichever color band you want your eyes to be, double them wrap them three times around your hook and thread each one onto a double loop white band. And whether you're using beads or bands, you're going to take a single skin tone band and thread both of these onto the skin tone band. And this we can set aside as well. And our next attachment will be her hair. For her hair, we're going to be using brown bands. And this time, we're just going to use a single brown band. And I wasn't intending to do this when I started, but I think I'm going to try to make her hair a little shorter. So even though in my original one, I used three bands for her hair, this time I'm only going to use two. So we want to place a single brown band. You can do this on your hook as well if you prefer. But I'm going to go down two times and I'm going to cap this with a single brown band wrapped only two times around the peg. And now we want to have a total of six of these. So I'm going to do the first two with you and then we will pause the video and meet back when we have six of them all together. So for the second one, again, we're going to put two brown bands capped with a single brown band wrapped only two times. And now we're ready to loop these. So I'm going to go inside my cap band and this time we're only grabbing one band and we still need to form our raindrop shape. So we're going to loop both of these and these can go on a holding hook. And again, we need six of these all together. So you can pause the video and complete the other four and we'll meet back when we're done. Welcome back. We all should now have six hair extensions of two bands each with a doubled cap band. So we can set these aside. Next we have to make the nurse's cap and for that we're using white bands and everything will be double banded so we're going to take two white bands and place them from the fifth peg from the bottom to the fourth peg and we want to do that four times. going down the loom of course we don't want to put two bands four times on the fifth to the fourth peg but we're going to go down the right side four times with two white bands and we can cap this with a single white band wrapped three times around the peg and we can loop this 
and again we want to make sure we grab both bands and that we're forming our teardrop shape as we loop to the peg above. And this we can set aside. And our last attachment is the bedpan. And I've heard it called many, many things. Jesse, it's not a fish. You could call it a blanket if you like, or a towel, or whatever you want to pretend it is. However, where I'm from, the bedpans are almost exactly that color. So that's what it is. And for this, we are going to use double bands. And we're going to go down four times from the fifth peg from the bottom with two teal bands each. And we're going to cap this with a single teal band wrapped three times around the peg. And we can loop this, making sure we grab both bands and that we're forming our teardrop shape as we loop forward to the peg above. And to secure this, we are going to take a single teal band and double it. And this will be our slip knot. So we're going to reach inside these bands, grab a hold of our double looped band, and we will form our slip knot. And now we can remove this from the loom. And we can set this aside. And now we're ready to band our loom. And we're going to start with her hair by putting two brown bands from the first peg in the center to the second peg going down the center. And next I want to use two white bands for her cap from the first peg on the left to the first peg in the center and the first peg in the center to the first peg on the right. Then to continue with her hair going down the left side we want to put two brown bands two times going down the left. We're going to do the same thing on the right and put two brown bands two times going down the right side. To move on to her face, we're going to use skin tone bands and we're going to put two skin tone bands three times continuing down the center. For her neck, we want three skin tone bands also continuing down the center. Next, we want two skin tone bands continuing on the left side and two skin tone bands from the fourth peg on the left to the fifth peg in the center. And moving to the right side, two skin tone bands continuing down the right and two skin tone bands from the fourth peg on the right to the fifth peg in the center. Moving down to her uniform, which we'll be using white bands for, we're going to go down the center six times. With two white bands each time. We're going to go over to the left side and her left shoulder, two white bands from the sixth peg on the left to the sixth peg in the center. And again, we will go down the left side six times with two white bands. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. 
two white bands from the sixth peg in the center to the sixth peg on the right. And again, we will go down six times with two white bands down the right side. And now we want to do her legs. For that we're using skin tone bands and we want to put two skin tone bands finishing off the right side and two skin tone bands finishing off the left. And to close off her skirt we are going to put two white bands from the second peg up from the bottom to the second peg in the center and the second peg on the right to the second peg in the center. And this we will cap with a single white band wrapped three times around the peg. And now we're ready for our holding bands and we're going to take a single brown band and put it around the first peg on the left and the right and the second peg in the center. We're going to take a skin tone band and put it around the second peg on the left and the right and the third peg in the center. We're going to skip the third peg on the left and the right but put a single skin tone band around the fourth pegs on the left, the right and in the center. For the holding bands on her uniform we are going to put a single white band around the seventh pegs on the left, the right and in the center, the eighth pegs on the left, right and center. For the ninth pegs we are going to use a double loop white band and it will go around the ninth peg on the left, the right and in the center. Again a single white band around the tenth pegs. and the eleventh pegs. Now we're ready for the attachments and we're going to start with her hair and the first one will go on the first peg on the left, the next one on the second peg on the left, and one on the third peg on the left. We're going to do the same thing on the other side and put a hair I like to call them extensions even though they're attachments but technically they're extensions of her hair. So we want one again on the first, second and third pegs going down the right. Now we can attach her nurse's cap and what we want to do is take the end that's on our hook and place it on the first peg on the right. For the center we are going to skip a teardrop and we want to grab just two bands from the back of this teardrop shape and we are going to put those around the first peg in the center. And then we are going to grab our cap band and all three bands of our cap band will go around the first peg on the left and this sl slipped off. I have to fix this. So again for the center you want to just grab it and it may be easier put the whole teardrop shape over and then move the top two bands to the back and that will still give us the two bands we needed around that top center peg. And now we can attach our eyes and one side will go on the third peg down on the left and we can separate our eyes and we're going to stretch one band only over the third peg down in the center 
and the other end will go around the third peg on the right. Next we have her legs and her shoes and one will go on the last peg down on the left and the other goes on the last peg on the right. And next her arms will go on the sixth peg from the top on the left and the sixth peg down from the top on the right. And now we're ready to loop. We're going to start in the center and reaching inside we're going to grab just the top two white bands and they are going to go over and down to the right. The next two bands are going to go over and down to the left. And the last two bands will go up the center. And now we can loop up the left side, reaching inside our attachments and looping to the peg above. And we want to make sure that we're grabbing just the bottom two bands and that we stay inside the holding band and again that we're forming a teardrop shape as we go. And we're going to loop all the way. I missed a band here. We're going to loop all the way up to the neck with these. And now we will go up the right side again, reaching inside our attachment bands and looping just the bottom two to the peg above. And we want to make sure that we're staying inside the holding bands and that we're forming our teardrop shape as we go. And this side also we will loop to the neck. And now we can loop up the center. It's usually easier to go up the center because the holding bands are not quite so close to the bands that we need to loop. And once we get to the neck, we want to remember that we've got three bands here for the neck. So you want to make sure you grab all three. when you loop them forward. And if you find that they're a little bit tight, you can put your hook inside and just roll it around that peg and that loosens the tension on the bands. So moving on to her face, we want to grab the top two bands and loop them to the right. The next two bands are going to the left and the last two bands are going forward. And now we can loop up the right side, again, staying inside the holding bands. We want to be careful that we don't grab the bands for the hair or the bands holding the eyes. And we want to loop forward. And this time we only want to go to the top peg on the left. The same thing when we loop the right side. We're only going to go as far as the top peg. Again, making sure we're grabbing only the bottom two bands, that we're staying inside the holding bands and forming our teardrop shape. As always, from the fourth peg to the third peg is where we attach the nose. So we want to grab those bands and then slide our nose down and then loop them over the third peg from the top. And now we can continue up the center, again staying inside the holding bands and grabbing the last two skin tone and the last two for the hair. And now we can move over and do 
the right side and we want to reach in and grab just the bottom two bands making sure that we don't have any of the hair or the cap her cap her hat on her head bands and the same thing on the other side grabbing just the bottom two bands and looping them to the center and now we want to double check that we have looped all of the bands and we can take a single white band and we're going to do our slip knot we're going to put our hook down through the center making sure we've gone through all of the bands and we're going to grab our single white band and pull it through and it's going to be pretty tight here so be careful you don't break your band you could also use two bands if you feel you might be running into trouble and we will form our slip knot and again we're not going to pull it too tight because it might break and now we're ready to remove it from the loom we're going to start at the bottom there are different schools of thought on this I prefer to remove it from the bottom first because I feel it doesn't stretch it as much and some people prefer to pull it from the top and pull it off however I like to work from the bottom up and when we get to the neck I'm going to put my hook inside the peg and roll it around that peg because there are a lot of bands there and it helps to release them without putting more tension on them and potentially having them break and the rest should come off fairly easily tighten her slip knot a little bit and straighten her eyes I want to stretch out her legs and we're going to add her mouth and for that we need our light pink band and we're going to place our hook from the back to the front in the vicinity of the mouth or where the mouth should be grab a hold of one end of our pink band and pull it through and put the hook again from the back to the front and grab the other end of the pink band and pull it through to the back and we will secure these ends with a c-clip and we can remove our hook and now we can adjust her mouth by just pulling it down a little bit we want to tweak her hair a little bit and fix her cap just stretching it a little bit and to define her feet I'm going to place my hook through the teardrop shape and just tug a little bit to the side and we'll do the same thing on the other foot placing it through the teardrop and just tugging the bands and like I said that just gives her feet a little bit of definition and I want her arms to be down by her sides so again I'm going to put my hook down through the center of the teardrop and just tug the bands and we'll do the same thing on the other side you could also use your hands to do this just grab a hold of the top bands of that teardrop and pull down 
we need to secure our slip knot and I'm just going to weave it through a few bands at the back and tuck it out of the way. You can also attach it to the C-clip that's here and that will secure it as well. And you can tweak her hair as much as you want until it looks the way that you want it to look. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And squeeze her waist a little bit. We've already defined it by putting a double holding band there. And next we want to attach our bedpan. And for that we're going to take the cap bands of her hand and we want to stretch all three loops and we're just going to tuck the end of the bedpan through the three loops of her hand and we're going to do the same thing on the other side separate the cap band and tuck the end of our bedpan through her hand. And we want to also tuck the slip knot of the bedpan out of the way. So I'm just going to weave it through a few of the bands. And I'm going to bend her arms at the elbows. And again, we'll use our hook and put them down through the center of the bands and the center of that teardrop shape. And that will bend her elbows. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And again, this may take some finessing until you can get it to look the way that you want it to look. But that's basically it. And there you have it. This is Nurse Judy, a, another project brought to you by Judicon. And thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. We would love to see what you come up with if you make this as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm sure we've got lots more coming down the line. And I know I personally have a lot of tutorials left to do. Again, I will be coming back to Big Brother 16, Fairly Odd Parents, the Minecraft, and I have a lot more after that. So don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with what's coming. And again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.